Dusk and her brother Elliot have been busy clearing out basements, resting and recuperating. Yet right now, Dusk is underweight and no doubt Elliot isn't far behind her. They have been scavenging as they can, eating what they find. And now, all around them, are the ruined corpses of cockroaches. Not a pleasant meal. Yet above their head, a injured dinosaur is currently trapped in a bathroom. That could provide quite the feast. Yet it may put up a bit of a fight. But before anything else, this basement is going to need a little bit of a tidy up. And so with that, we shall get to work. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, No Hope, where we are going to just smash the corpses that are here, first of all, just to ensure that they're not going to come back to life. I know it is just oh so messy. Unfortunate, yes. And then what are we to do with everything down here? Well, we really want to make sure that we get all of this uh, roach dirt off of the floor and somewhere else. So maybe even storing it in the boxes that are down here. One of the fastest ways for us to just clear everything up down here is by creating a zone. And so first of all, we want an unsorted zone, which we are going to stretch from one side of this to the other. Now the roach dirt is considered chemical stuff. So let's just create an other stockpile first of all, just over here. And then let's go chemical. And we're going to place it there as well. As for corpses, let's get them piled up just next to the furnace. Everything else will leave where it is for the time being. But let's see. Let's sort out all this loot. Okay, and supposedly that's everything. Uh, it doesn't look like it is. Let's try that again. Yeah, okay, right. It's Elliot that's just kind of blocking our path here. So Elliot, just um, stay still for now. In dusk, let's continue. And now that is actually everything. Okay, let's get you following Elliot as we are going to be making our way back upstairs. Dusk is a little chilly at the moment. Her torso is rather encumbered. We do have our duffel bag on still. Let's leave that on the ground as we are going to try and see if we can take on the dino that's up here. Follow along, Elias. Um, you know what? Let's actually close that window for now. A little bit safer. Okay. Still in the bathroom. It is fleeing right now. I suppose we could just try and kill it by flinging it against the wall. That would be the safest way for us to deal with it. Okay. We failed. With a 7% chance, they should all be destroyed. We have killed a dino. Okay. What condition is the corpse? It's bruised, but it's fresh. Okay. So we are going to be dragging that along with us back downstairs. Let's get a haul in. Elliot, please follow. Okay, now, um, don't really have anywhere that's clean <laughs> other than just here. And well, I suppose we could move these corpses just a little bit further away. Then bring this one down here because we are going to be able to get a little bit of a fire going. Um, let's also just get our bag of stuff and haul that away from here for the moment. So we are going to need some light to get going. Oh, yeah, we should just get our backpack back on. Right, and that's the, that's the hiking backpack. Okay, we are going to get that clean eventually. So over here, we are going to turn on the smartphone, get that light going. Let's deconstruct. We're going to go for both of these countertops, and we'll get the light off for now. Then, back over here, let's stop hauling for a moment, and chuck some planks into the furnace get a fire going. Right, so now we have light. We can see what we're doing here with this body. And we're not going to be able to do a full butchery. The best we can probably do here is a quick butchery, which is going to give us some things. Our best butchering tool is only eight. So we're actually going to go upstairs because there was a meat cleaver, I believe, in the kitchen from memory. Let's see, was that in this kitchen? No, I think it was in the other kitchen, actually. Yeah, okay, all right. So Elliot, we're actually going to tell you just to stay here guard this position for now and we're just going to pop across the road real quick okay let's see yeah okay meat cleaver that's going to be the best right 25 22 we get cutting and fine cutting with that though so let's take the carving knife instead all right we are back inside let's use the towel that we got just to dry off elliot follow please let's get back downstairs and we're going to be nice and warm by the fire at least Okay, Elliot, you, you're here. Okay, there we go. We just couldn't see you. Right, butchering. 22 butchering. Much better. It's only going to take us nine minutes for us to do this. Okay, right. So, we do get a fair bit of food out of that. 40 chunks of meat, a few chunks of fat, we get some raw hide as well, and a lot of feathers. A very feathery dinosaur. Okay, next. Can we start cooking here? Yeah, 
does seem like we're going to be able to do that just fine. And I think we're just going to go for cooked meat and we can batch cook a whole lot of it. It's going to take a long time for us to do that. Let's just maybe go with 20 for now. Put down our longsword and start cooking. Elliot is assisting us as well, which is good. Okay, and we got us some meat. And we are going to just like chow down until we are like close to being very full okay all right so yeah we will stop eating we're engorged we've had a lot of calories which is good that's the position that we need to be in uh, we're going to drop the rest of the meat here for elliot actually you know what we're just going to trade that to him that'll be the easiest way to do that there you go lad enjoy and no doubt he is going to uh start munching down on that yeah good on you and the other stuff well we're not going to be able to treat that very easily down here i do think it's still going to be worth cooking up the rest of that meat though still got another 20 chunks of it there so let's go ah <laughs> add more wood to the fire first of all and it's 2 18 in the morning we were actually hearing some noise over here which leads me to believe that there's probably a basement on the same kind of level as we are we're very hungry yet again so we're going to eat until we are full and we'll try and go a little further if we can yep we'll stop at that point and we'll try and trade a little bit more of this meat to Elliot give him an give him another five there we go okay dusk and hey look at that her head is looking much much better I don't think we're going to need to rebandage there no that's pretty good we will do another disinfection though, just alcohol wipes at this point. And examining Elliot's wounds, he is going to be mending alright, apart from, of course, his right arm, which is still a problem for us. Yeah, I think that the only real option for us is going to be trying to get to a hospital of some kind, and we do know of one all the way up here in Deerfield. If we could find an auto dock, that may allow us to get his wounds healed, but that's a big maybe the cooked meat that we do have it is only going to be good for a day oh you know what we should have been having fat that would be the best way to really get us going and uh, the fat is going to last a little bit longer so for us to cook that up we are going to need like a proper pot or something of the like and we do have our pot across the road elliot stay here for now oh yeah let's see is that on the side yeah Wump. Oh, and before we go any further, let's make sure that we have our sword with us. There we go, and up we go. Yeah, so, something going on in that house. It stopped raining. Right, we could go and just have a peek. I mean, we'd want to find another way in without making noise. I'm just going to go around. Something has been in here. Okay, well, we can clamber in. I'm going to turn on safe mode, or rather, it was already on. We've got some more soaps. I do need to remember that we actually want to try and get some of the stuff that we've got clean. Okay, just some boxes back here. Charcoal and detergent. Charcoal is useful, but we don't have any way to use it right this second. Oh, hello. You're trying to get to us. Yes, a small predatory bipedal dinosaur. Okay, troublemaker. We got a complimentary mug in the kitchen. Nothing else. I want to try and see if we can get down below. We're just going to peek first of all, because we were hearing whumping, so we've probably got undead down here. How bad is it going to be? Hmm, shuffling. All right, we got ourselves a tough zombie. Okay, so let's just back up. We're going to try and get its attention. Bring it over to here. See if we can get it on the table, if possible. There we go. Strike at it. Biting and striking. Striking again and again. Dusk, very good work. Just pennies, huh? Ooh, a Chinese military training manual. Ways of archery. Love to learn more about archery. And we've got another whole ass gym down here. Very cool. And a pinball machine that isn't working anymore. Okay, we've got two kids down here, it looks like. Two zombie children. That would make us really upset. So we're going to try and avoid them if we can. Just try and duck into here. Another towel and a plastic bag. I think we're probably just going to try and leave the kids for now. We've got potato chips and powder. Yep, we're going to leave you be. Actually, hang on. Oh, man. Damn it. I wanted to check out here, but um, we're just going to have to try and dance around this kid for now. Let's just see which way they end up going. We could just try and run around them. Up and over dusk. There we go. Close that door and you're out. Okay. Now, we just need to get back across to our original place. We are going to mark this house as explored, though, and we'll mark this one up here and just make our way across towards the other. Back down below we shall go. And let's see here. Pot, you're coming with me. Oh, there's a safe back here. Well, for one, that's going to allow us to practice our lock picking, which is great. And we can kind of close ourselves in there as well. Can we drag this right now with the strength that we've got? We can. All right. We are going to come back to that safe for sure. We might need a stethoscope though for us to actually be able to pick that. Let's just have a look. Yeah, we just mess with the dial. Not an option. No, we will need a stethoscope for that. A lockpick I don't think would actually help us. All right, Elliot, 
the fire is still going. We have our pot. Let's have a look at making some cracklin. Wonderful, we can. Okay, so let's do a big batch of that. And we are gonna be working through most of the night here, but I'm okay with that. I'm trying to get our sleep schedule to be more during the daytime. And that's 84 cracklin. We're a bit hungry yet again. We've had a lot of calories today, but I think we wanna try and push it even further at this point. So this stuff is gonna last a week. It's gonna make us thirsty for sure, Let's actually just go and have the cooked meat to begin with. And I suppose the other thing that we could try and make with the fat would be lard going forwards. Actually, we don't have any recipes for lard. Well, there we go. And um, we're going to be sure to trade some of those to Elliot. Yep, there we go. That's all yours. You can have that whenever you want it. Okay, next up for us is going to be dealing with the dirty backpack. So we are going to need to make a wash kit first. Uh, it's another hour, unfortunately. And we've run out of light. Let's put two more planks in, get that fire going. And I suppose we could could look at chucking the cockroach corpses in here and an acidic zombie dog all right that wasn't us the cockroach must have killed that yep move it into the fire there we go it's gonna smell amazing we're probably just using the heat of it rather than the fire itself to cook right washboard okay that's the board and now let's make a wash kit I'm missing a sponge at the moment i swear we did have a sponge nearby we will probably need one for the hiking backpack though let's see yes okay sponge Gotcha. Washing kit. There we go. Let's activate it. Okay, so the holster, the belt, those are things that we had for Elliot. Let's see. We can nearly wash everything. Okay. Wash those to begin with. And how much exactly are we going to need for the hiking backpack? A fair bit more water than we have access to. So right now in here, got 57. And over here... 37. So I think if we're kind of like in between, we should be able to access both of the bits of water. We might have already been doing that now that I think about it. Yeah, close, but not quite there. And I think it comes back to the fact, do we? No, we want the hiking backpack for dusk more than anything. So I do actually want it. So then, gallon jugs might be the best way for us to transfer water from one place to another. Uh, we are hungry yet again. So let's uh, let's keep the calories rolling in. Yeah, we've eaten so much today. And I know I should probably do it over a couple of days, but yeah, Elliot, we're gonna need you to just stay there for now. I'm pretty sure I did remember seeing some gallon jugs in the kitchen up here. Oh dear, but the sun is already up. That is a bit of a problem. Let's just go and wield the gallon jug for now. Put the washing kit away and let's unload that bleach. Pour it on the ground there. Okay. Yep, we're seeing dinos out there. Um, so are we going to be able to get enough with one gallon jug? Not likely. Um, let's just pop over here for the moment. Use the winch. And let's just see what we've got going on outside. Just you so far, two of them. And they're alive. They're our friends. Okay. You're not, and you've seen us. Okay. Let's just run away. Get across here for now. Close that. And head back down below. Actually, hang on. Let's check the kitchen to see if there are anything else that we can use to carry stuff. Nope, that's fine. Down we go. Uh, the pot we might be able to use, but I don't think we'll be able to use it while we, you know, don't have it actually in our hands. So let's dispense it for now. Pour into the gallon jug. Okay, the patrol officer kit is also watertight. Interesting. Um, we'll, we'll fill up everything for now. So our canteen. Uh, we've got lots of plastic bottles that we can take <laughs> some stuff in. We'll fill up the um, officer kit as well. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> plastic bottles then. Okay, I'd say that's pretty good. We're going to head back with what we've got so far. I'm going to try and see if we can take more of a northern route though. Maybe out this window. Ah, you're coming for us right now, huh? Okay, well, let's just close that up and let's go out through the backyard for now. I know we could probably kill the little dino. Easy peasy, but uh, I'm just trying to be cautious here. We'll turn on safe mode and clamber over this fence. All right, we're good, we're good. Let's go up this way for now. Just make our way across. Let's just check that body. It's a water strider, okay. Back into the home we go, dusk. Back to safety. Okay, and we're gonna, well, I suppose we could unload stuff, but we don't really need to, right? Let's just activate the washing kit. Okay, it's not detecting the water that we've got currently, so let's just start to unload stuff. Yep, south. Okay, I really don't think it's taking this one into account anymore. <laughs> so we're just gonna try and bring that across if we can. Okay, we've got that nearly fully moved over now. There we go, and wash kit. There we are. Okay, we've got everything we need to get that clean. Excellent. Okay, so now, hiking backpack. We are going to wear you. 
and we are going to unload everything from the duffel bag. Then the duffel bag shall be no more. Excellent. Yeah, Elliot is going to stick with his um, leather backpack that we've got for him, but we're also going to give him a few other items. So we would like you to use the holster, ideally. Excellent, he's going to wear that. And also the police duty belt. There we go. Okay, and he seems to be able to wear that stuff easy as. Excellent, it's not even conflicting. We can probably look at taking the jeans off of him now. He still has the subject suit on and he's happy with that, so remove those. The head bandana, that can stay on. Although in saying that, that's covering his leaves right now. I think he's going to be more comfortable having that off. And then finally, the subject suit and all the rest. We can't wear that underneath our protective bark, so we're always going to have a little bit of uh, extra encumbrance there, but that's that's okay. Now finally, Dusk is actually tired, and no doubt Elliot is on his way to being rather tired as well. So, is there anything not burnt in here yet? I, I mean, the cockroaches, they're going to keep on burning for a while, I think. It doesn't look like we can comfortably sleep down here, but then again, all we need is a mattress, right? And we'll actually be able to have a proper sleep. What? What is in the gallon jug right now? 62 items. Oh, it's cooked meat and cracklings? No, thank you. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, Elliot, stay here yet again. This is just to be safe. And we're going to see if we can't just take some of the mattresses off of the beds that are here. Uh, Want to be wary of what is out there. Let's just go into a crouch for now and we're going to deconstruct simple furniture. Okay, yes, that has given us a mattress. We're gonna do the same thing over here as well. It's only 10 seconds for us to do that. We're then gonna take the mattresses and the pillow even. Luxury, huh? And we're gonna drag that back downstairs. Let's just stay crouched for now, actually. All right, Elliot, we're gonna be living in luxury, lad. Let's see, we're gonna go all the way over here, because I think that's gonna be safest. And let's deploy those mattresses. Unfortunately, there isn't a proper icon for those at the moment. So we are just gonna see them as zeros, but they're there, you just gotta believe. Okay, and Dusk's head has been healing just oh so well. The bandage is still good, so we'll just leave it as it is for now. She is still hungry. Um, <laughs> We'll have a little bit more of the cooked meat and Elliot. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. That's dusk. Your animal discord turns into prey animal. I did talk about us being more like mice in the walls. Uh, it seems like that might be a literal thing for dusk. Prey animal. Natural animals like dogs and wolves see you as prey and are liable to attack you on sight. Well then, <laughs> that could be good and it could be bad. As in, things will come our way when we're hunting. So it's like luring things into a false sense of security. At least that's the way I see it. And I suppose that'll also apply for dinosaurs. So it'll be both a blessing and a curse, no doubt. Oh boy, oh boy. And Elliot, you've, you've had no other changes, right? No, I don't think so. Okay, well then, I think it's probably about time that we have that much needed rest. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna work on our athletics for, for both of them. For now, we shall sleep. Okay, and we wake up at 3 p.m. Thankfully, we're back at a normal weight but we do need to make sure that we stay on top of our calories. We're gonna be having that cooked meat to get going. And you know, we should probably start taking some more multivitamins. Oh, we had a lot of iron, that's for sure. We had, well, no, we've had nearly 10,000 calories today, so that's pretty decent. Uh, we just went back to being underweight again? Okay, yeah, no, we, all right. <laughs> We're gonna be eating a lot more today then. Um, Elliot, you might notice, is now slimy. Let's have a look at you. You ever-changing lad. Another positive trait. We've been incredibly lucky with Elliot. I'm very concerned with how fast he's mutating. And I also believe that genetic chaos is something that we just cannot back away from. Which is, yikes. So, slimy. Your body is coated with a fine slime, which makes uncovered skin harder to grab and protects from long-term effects of acid, though not the short-term ones. Greatly increases wet benefits. So... I think in general, Elliot is going to do better wearing less clothing. He is covered in bark anyway, so it is already kind of clothing to him. So maybe we just kind of keep the backpack on him. Let's sort your armor here. 
The subject suit, maybe you don't need to keep that on. Let's look at removing some of the things. The subject suit, what do you actually have in that right now? I suppose we could ask him, couldn't we? All right, Elliot, let's see. What do you have in there at the moment? Aspirin and your antipsychotics as well. You probably should take one of those now just to kind of stay on top of it. You feel a bit wobbly. I'm not, I'm not surprised, but I think that will actually begin to help you. Right, let's unload the subject suit for now, and we will now unequip the subject suit. Look at that, no more conflicts. It still has his plastic apron on at the moment, but his protective bark is uh, theoretically protecting him across the board here. Not on the eyes and mouth, but on pretty much everything else. Not pretty much, actually everything else. So I'm not sure with the protective bark what determines how good it is, because there is the worst quality and there's the best quality. Maybe worst is if it's damaged. And you know, I think because of the slimy trait that we've got now, being wet more often than not would be good. Greatly increases wet benefits. <laughs> yeah, so um, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm intrigued about that. Can we get you to pour water of yourself? Not, not easily. But I, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna keep that in mind. We will get you some water though. Go have a drink there, lad. And now, Dusk, are you, you're done shifting around all your things. Got the carving knife out at the moment. Let's just put that in the backpack. And now we are going to be doing some work on these exercise machines. So having a look at practice, we're wanting to go for, well, first of all, we need to do a little bit of beginner just to get our practical skill back up to two. And then we can move on to intermediate athletics, which should be able to take our athletic ability up to five. And it's not gonna take us as long to do this because we have the athlete's form, which is the proficiency that this gives us. Uh, Elliot though, doesn't seem to be able to join in while Dusk is doing this. So I do wonder if we might be able to swap out to Elliot and get him to do this as well. Let's see if that's possible. Uh, no, no, I don't seem to be able to switch. So I think that the technique will be getting Dusk up to five and then getting Elliot to, to join in. Or alternatively, we kind of just do like a level at a time. So Elliot, let's get you doing that practice next. Actually, let's see, you're at two at the moment, right? You're almost at three, okay. So intermediate exercise for you. Oh, and it's going to be much slower for him because his focus is just really bad right now. Okay, so we'll, we'll focus on Dusk and Set then. Oh, and Dusk is actually not looking good focus-wise either. They're both looking pretty bad. Oh, and we've got some bile splatter here. We may have overeaten, possibly, or Dusk ate something that she shouldn't have. Mm, okay, I'm gonna keep our eyes on that. Let's just have a little bit of crackling here and some clean water, and then back to practicing. Oh, she's far faster at this, though. Hey, proficient in the athlete's form. Uh, we'll keep practicing, though. Oh, swimmer. We've gotten athletics up to level four. I can doggy paddle. Uh, we'll stop practicing for a moment here. We are looking hungry again, so we're just gonna start knocking back those crackling. Jeez, so many calories today. And yeah, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna see if we can get this up higher. We can see that while Dusk is practicing here that Elliot is eating a fair amount of the crackling that we have from him. Damn it, we are underweight again. Hot damn, how many calories do we need to take in here? A lot, seemingly. Okay, we're gonna eat all that crackling. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll stop eating at that point. Damn, there we go. Let's stop practicing. Athletics, level five. Very nice, Dusk. We are thirsty, we are hungry. Let's finish off the rest of the crackling that's there. And you know, we're gonna go down and see if any of this food is still good. It's old, but we should be able to get some of that cooked up. We've still got a fire going here. So, what would it be? What's gonna give us the most calories here? Cooked liver, got the sweet bread there as well. Let's just see what we've got. Okay, the, we've got quite a bit of liver actually. The scraps of meat not really worth our time. Six livers, let's get them cooked. And, all right, cooked old liver. <laughs> How delicious. It's certainly giving us the iron that we need. Let's have some of our clean water there, Dusk. Oh, and we've also been working. Oh, yeah, we spent nearly 7,000 calories yesterday. <laughs> so, actually, no, nearly 8,000. Uh, we consumed 17,000, but yeah, wow. Um, it must have been from all of our psychic exercise. That's why Dusk has been needing to eat so much. But Athletics 5, that is really good. That helps improve our overall cardio fitness and stamina. Brilliant. Oh, grounding meditation. Interesting. That was a new one under psionics. Through practice, you've learned how to calm and focus yourself during meditation. 
I don't think it's going to help us because our metaphysics is four. If you meditate properly, you could channel the additional nether energy you've accumulated out into your surroundings. The doing so will be extremely tiring. Very interesting. I don't think we're going to do it right now. Or, I mean, I suppose we could try. Yeah. After your meditations, your mind is free and clear. The odd feelings caused by excessive psionic channeling have entirely left you. So hopefully that's helped us out um, a bit with our usage. We're moderately weary at the moment from all the activity. Oh, nice. Okay, interesting. We can do some longsword practice here. While we have the cutting weapons skill high enough and our melee high enough, we don't have longsword familiarity. Are we able to train that up with this? All right, we're starting to get weary, so it's, it's, it is difficult. That's one batch done. Let's just say no to the practice for now and we'll see how see how we're looking. 23% on longsword familiarity. I think we push this a little bit further if we can. Okay, we are very weary at this stage, so we will stop. And we're at 28 familiarity. It's going to take us a while for us to get that as a proficiency. I think just in general, us fighting with the blade, we'll get there. Uh, but we are hungry, so let's see what we got left of this. Um, all right, rotten. That is unfortunate. But we, but we do still have that pumpkin, so let's have a look at disassembling that if we can. Hey, look at that. Yep, four cut pumpkin. Let's put down our practice. And we got four cut pieces of pumpkin. Mashed pumpkin. Simple dish. Wow, that's not a lot of calories. <laughs> that's nothing. Oh dear, you mutate. Stop crafting. Ignore it. Light sensitive. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to have our pumpkin. It's not incredible, but it'll do. We are tired now. Elliot is damn tired as well. Okay. Light sensitive. So that would have come from us being an albino. It's an extension of that. Um, we have robust genetics, but we're getting negative mutations right now. I guess the robust genetics is kind of somehow making Elliot's mutations turn out better for the moment. But that's okay. We can work with light sensitive. A minus one to all stats while the weather is sunny outdoors. So yeah. We'll be trying to stay away from that where we can dusk. Okay, well, let's take our long sword to bed, just so that we have that little bit of added protection. And Elliot, you weird tree man, let's hope you have a, a decent rest as well. Dusk, let's call it yet another day. Getting up this morning, dusk feels revitalized. Wonderful. And I say this morning, it's actually this evening. It's six in the evening, which is a really good time for us to be waking up because we have travel to do. We've done our athletics training. We have rested. We have recovered as best we can. And now, well, now I want to try and make it back down towards the orc village, towards the other long swords that are there, towards the armor that we can potentially get and all the goodies that we no doubt left behind. Well, I say goodies. I have no idea how much stuff we would actually have access to there. And of course, there is the cabin that we wanted to get to as well. I still really want to get to that. So let's see if we're able to achieve those things today. We are going to have to get back towards the subway, first of all. Um, wow, the fire is still going here. Those corpses kept it uh, burning for a long time. That's a lot of corpse ash. Uh, let's see, was there any other water left here? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we kind of took it all. Okay, we are a little hungry at the moment. We're going to probably have some energy drinks to start the day off with, which I know isn't super helpful or super healthy. But what can you do? Um, and I'm also going to try and decide if there are some things that I want to leave behind. Oh, of course, we have the books that we still need to have uh, a little bit of a flick through. Well, we are certainly going to be doing that. But first of all, I do need to just get rid of some of these uh, bits of trash we'll be talking holding on to. Let's read that roadmap first of all, and then we're going to use our tablet PC. Actually, let's just flick through the books first and just see if we're actually going to learn anything from them. Okay, it looks like we can learn from pretty much all of them, apart from the manual, which just has recipes in it. Okay, we don't have a lot of charge left on our tablet PC. We'll see how much it's going to take to store these books. Yeah, we don't quite have enough, do we? No, so we might just have to hold on to the books for the moment until we can get a new battery for this. I don't suppose we have, no, nothing that'll work right now. Uh, we do have some cards that I want to try and store on here though. So let's try and download from these nine memory cards. Cool, we get some recipes and we get more photos. There we go. Okay, we're as ready as we're gonna be right now. Let's head upstairs and we'll see if the sun has started making its way down yet. It might still be up, it is. So we probably just need to give it a little bit longer before we try and leave here. I'm half tempted to go down here towards the gun store. It does look like it's been opened. 
so it could be worthwhile us having a look at that. Let's just kind of poke our head around and see what we got going on. An otter? Well, hi there. Okay. And, I mean, the sun is kind of on its way down. We're seeing some dinos around, and right now, well, they're not paying much attention to us, which is good. We definitely want it to stay that way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, they're patrolling the streets, keeping things safe for now. We we very much appreciate that. And my gosh, Elliot, you are so green. You are so green. And you're also so much slower than us. Yeah, dusk is going to be pretty quick now. That dexterity and everything else. Oh boy, what a, what a mess. My gosh. Look at all of this down here. It was a graveyard. Got a Z9 corpse over here. Insect samples interesting we do actually have a zombie over here and a lad of oh, monkey bars okay right well we are going to start to make our way over towards the gun shop here our hands are getting warm interesting yeah quite warm um we do have those diving gloves on right thick diving gloves 50 warmth yeah that's considerable let's just take them off for now we won't have protection on our hands but that's Okay, what have we got spray painted here? Kill all dinosaurs. <laughs> Rejoice, the great eaters have returned. Well, okay, that's debatable. We got some small pistol primer here. Guns and ammo magazine, Um, which I don't, yeah, no, we're good. An adjustable sling could be good for the rifle that we left behind. Got a magazine, it is unfortunately damaged. We'll just see if there's anything on the floor here. No, just casings shell casings same thing here as well sporting clay's consistency shotguns and it's just kind of recipes we'll, we'll still grab it heading further into this place here what have we got out the front nothing just blood spilt and i heart in clary okay now <laughs> one thing that i want to clear up about elliot he does look very green right now, but he does still have his albino trait. And I feel like that kind of overrides a lot of the green that he's got going for him. So, he's still a pale, barky boy. Oh, looks like we've got some shotgun shells here. Birdshot. That's not going to be super useful, but I think we'll still pick it up for the moment. And looking back here, there is the pulped corpse of a human. Rotten on the ground. Guns and ammo magazine. Oh, hello. Um, right clean water and a lemon lime soda the clean water will take as well recoil magazine okay grab you and what have we got shotgun primer unlikely to use it same thing with the, the pistol primer as well what have we got back here shooting stars sure we'll grab you and we'll check down the bottom another rotten corpse they've been dead for a while an ergonomic grip sure we'll take it we might actually be able to apply that to our uh, to our rifle hey elbow pads nice i don't think we're actually wearing anything rigid on our arms right now we aren't okay well the chest guard but it's a different part of the arm cool that works for me okay we're gonna make our way on over towards the stairs here and i am tempted to try and see if we can do our enhanced strength here not for combat but rather to just knock down this door as fast as possible okay we are hearing some activity outside it sounds like all right we got the strength let's see 32 yep all right i'm surprised we didn't knock that down in one also we are probably got to be damaging the longsword so i do need to be a little bit wary of that oh and this is this is just the rooftop right oh, okay not just the rooftop we do have some things up here a hammer flat jaw tongs and we'll crack open these crates hoping that there's something else up here nope okay but there is a lot of clean water okay let's go fill up our canteen there and let's keep moving elliot back down we go we're gonna mark this whole place as explored oh there's trouble out in the river could be dinos for all we know and we're gonna get back across towards the towards the subway station i am trying to think if we left anything else useful in the basement across the road uh what else is warm right now our torso can we do anything to help with that we kind of need everything that we have on it at the moment so yeah we're gonna stick with that elliot stick with us all right we're just gonna duck in here real quick to see if i've left anything that we want to take i mean obviously there's some really really good stuff here the tailoring kit we definitely want to take all of the thread for sure because it's going to be super super light if we can take the cotton patches as well that would be useful they don't take up a huge amount of space same thing with the cotton sheets i think we can get away with that the all is pretty lightweight the synthetic fabric sheets you know they're useful um okay why did the canteen fall to the ground 
Not sure. We picked it up anyway, so that's, uh, that's fine. Okay, yeah, we are going to be leaving everything else here, aren't we? Yep, just double checking that we're good. Elliot, let's get moving. We still got our strength with us, which is fantastic. Subway station is beckoning us. So, back out the front we go. And I kind of want to give these dinosaurs a little bit of extra space where possible. So, we're going to go around the back for now. Okay, there's a rose bush there. So, um, we're just going to have to go through here, Elliot. Right, and then just through here, which is what we did before. Hello, pigeon. How are we doing? And how is this place doing? It's looking perfectly fine. Excellent. Come on, Al. Let's get down below. Oh, and I don't, I don't think we actually checked the roads when I read the roadmap earlier. It didn't really reveal anything else to us that I'm aware of, just because there's so much stuff on this map. I could very easily be missing something. But yeah, it looks like we're going to be waiting occasionally for Elliot to catch back up with us. I'm okay with that. We're going to be going really nice and careful through here. And hopefully we don't run into any trouble at all. We're going to be heading back to the railway station out this way. And if you don't see anything else before we get back, then nothing bad happened. Crustacean sample. A slurry of toughness. Sure, we'll pick that up and keep on keeping on and a swarming amalgamation we made it quite a distance before we ran into trouble so let's see how we manage here our strength will leave us as soon as we make a hit 69 what a critical dusk nice well we managed that just fine hopefully that's the only one that's out here well we are close to the station folks and it's still pretty early in the evening so much so that the sun will actually still be up outside. We'll need to be a little bit wary of that. Let's just see what's going on upstairs first. Okay, it's not, it's not looking great. Yeah, we're gonna need to wait until the night is here properly. And I don't know if I feel comfortable with Elliot being out there. He's had, a, he's already had a close call back at that camp. Now, Dusk is aware of Elliot's diet the flesh-eating plant that he is i think that she she wouldn't be against getting the already prepared meat that's at the camp so we don't want to be trying to do this with a pack that's laden down by equipment so we are going to be trying to go through and just sort out the volume that we've got going on so yeah there's a few things that we don't need to actually have on us right now so all of those voluminous things they will be remaining here for the time being now i suppose there's a possibility that we just won't be able to use the armor that's there or rather put it into our pack but we're gonna try and how long is it until sunset it's only an hour and 16 minutes okay you know we can probably spend that time just reading something huh let's read a stored book let's go for what is a transistor for now <laughs> and the tablet pc runs out of power okay so we are going to have to try and find something to reload that with uh actually the handheld gaming system we're gonna take the battery out of that and let's go get that thing reloaded nice actually before we do anything else we should just try and store the other books that we've got that's gonna take an hour and 45 minutes for us to do anyway there we go dusk now all that stuff can stay behind and let's make sure that we turn that off we've got a fair bit of volume to our name which is great we don't have a lot to eat right now which is unfortunate elliot we want you to stay here. Guard this position, my lad. As dusk is going out there into the night. And then you know what? Before she does, let's try and get that enhanced strength going. And first try. Wonderful. Okay, let's get the stamina back as well. Okay, no doubt she is going to have to do a little bit of fighting here. But I'm going to try and avoid combat wherever possible. Yeah, let's leave safe mode on. And there's a Diplodocus zombie in here with us, which is not great. But we can see it. That's good. That's fine. Elliot is safe in the room that he is in right now. And we have safely made it out here. Very nice. Okay. So, what kind of route do we want to try and go here? We know it's pretty bad, or it was pretty bad, on the right-hand side there. I think we're just going to try and go straight down the road here towards these other houses. And if we do have to fight some things along the way, sure, we will. But with our very good night sight, I think we should be able to see just fine. It's misty out as well, so I think other creatures are going to have a bit of a harder time seeing than we will. Safe mode, let's get you back on. And okay, <laughs> we've seen a zombie, but it hasn't seen us. So that's the advantage that we have right now. Um, Oh boy. And yeah, the second that I turn safe mode back on, 
we discover something else in the dark. Let's just continue down along the path here. This is fine. Safe mode. Stick with us. Okay. And yeah, we're kind of going to go through the backyard again because that worked out for us last time. There's a little bit of activity off towards our west and we do have a fat zombie down there. Okay. All right. You can see us once we get a little bit too close. Okay. That's, that's unfortunate. That's okay. We lost our strength there. But we took you down pretty damn quickly. Let's just see if he had anything. No, no. Onwards then. Onwards. Okay. And this isn't great going through those alleys because we can't really see all that much. Okay. Now, we can't climb over the palisade wall. Uh, so we're probably going to have to try and go through the front entrance. That's fine, right? Are they still here or have they moved on? Well, there's certainly something down there. Okay. I'm just going really nice and slow for now. Um, I am tempted to open up this door here. Oh, there's quite a bit of noise, huh? I'm seeing if anything... Oh, boy. A Brontosaurus brute, and it's seen us. Oh, I don't like that. It is slower than us, though. So, here's what I think I'm going to try and do. I want to try and see if we can bait these things out towards us. So, we're just going to yell over here, and then we're just going to try and see if we can get away. They're going to make a whole lot of noise over there. They're going to draw more of the dead over towards them, and we should be able to just kind of navigate through here totally fine. You, you need to go though. We'll take your caffeinated chewing gum. Actually, let's, uh, let's chow down on that now. Okay. And back down the alleyway we go. This is, this is good. This is how we do this. And now, we're just waiting. We're listening. Okay. Mmm. We still got some down there. Alright. What do we have in here? Smoked sucker. Wonderful. We're gonna be taking that where we can. Uh, oh, we still have an orc warrior down here. Okay. Hmm. Do I really want to be fighting you right now? Or do I want to leave you to the dinos? Looks like he might not even be popping out, so we're just going to take the smoked food where we can find it. Okay, yeah, a lot of noise in there. That should draw the dinos over towards it, I would hope. This is, this is very dangerous. A zork. Oh, of course, because we didn't actually get to, we didn't get to kill the bodies. Okay, oh, don't bump. Please don't bump. Okay, come on, stop that. Stop that. H how much, we've been doing a lot of damage to this, or trying to, quickly strike, but do no damage. Why are we doing no damage? To the Zork. Okay, that's terrifying. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave that there. Don't like that. And that means all the other bodies that we didn't get to pulp will have come back. Okay, long sword. We can actually fit this one into our pack. Good. We're gonna put that one away though, because we want to wield this good one that's on the ground. And if we can find another one, fantastic. Long sword. Okay. All right. Check the bodies. Oh boy. Yeah. So the scrap leg guards and stuff like that, I still would love to get to. Um, but we need to be very cautious about how we do all of this. Okay. And we cannot afford to get boxed in by these zorks. Um, here's an idea for that zork there. Can we force shove you? into the wall. We hurtled you away, but I'm not sure to where. All the way down there. Okay, and we actually did get you bleeding. Can we force shove a Brontosaurus away? Is that something that we can do? I mean, we can try, right? We can reach out from here. We don't quite have the range to get you though. Okay, so let's use our sight as an advantage. We also do have these pits here as well, huh? I wonder if we might be able to utilize them in some way. Maybe. Let's just kind of make our way down here. Camasaurus zombie, okay. I, I would just not risk fighting these things at all. We do not want to be doing that. But in saying that, we are faster than they are. We should be able to navigate, kind of. Okay, and so far we are managing. Can we get that helmet? We can. Excellent. Okay, we're actually getting some of the things here. Moving back over towards the sword. Right. Excellent. Now, where the heck is that other long sword? Okay, we're going to drop you. We're going to pick up this long sword and two pairs of scrap leg guards. Let's get them both. Dangerously close. I don't like that. I don't like it. It's not it's not on us right now. Okay, the Zork can see us. The Zork has okay sight from what we can see. We've got a laptop computer there. We've got a wood axe as well. So what have we got so far in terms of armor? A helmet and some scrap leg guards. That's not bad. We've also gotten long swords out of this deal as well. Don't like that. Don't like any of this actually. This is, this is bad. Okay, the Zork dies. Did it bleed to death or did it, was that collateral from the Camarasaurus? It swang its tail at dusk, but she managed to dodge it. How good is your dodge right now? It's not great, 4.2. We got bloody lucky there. Oh boy. Okay, safe mode, back on. All right, we do have that one that's up there somewhere, and that's a Zork. Can I push you into the pit? Probably, probably. Let's see. For shove, bam, we sent you, 
hurtling back towards the wall. That's great. Okay, you're in a spike pit right now. That can't be good for you, right? Let's try and shove you again. There we go. Dead and properly dead this time. Scrap arm guards. Okay, we don't actually have access to those yet, but I don't think we can get around the spike pit here to grab those. But you know what we can do? Far hand. We can pull them to us and, ooh, a strange tingling sensation. I don't, I don't like that. Is that good? Is that bad? I am not sure. But we got our scrap arm guards out of that and we can do that with everything that's there. We don't have to be going like straight into ooh, the fray. We can pull things to us. I don't think I can pull that through the wall here. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. What a what a time we're having here. Okay, that's another Zork. Don't like you. Don't want to fight you, really. So we're not gonna. Gotta keep safe mode on for now. We're just gonna see what's going on over here by, by this pit. Just pointy sticks and human bones for now. Okay, let's see what we've got going on. Just a little closer dusk. Okay, that's a Brontosaurus zombie. We don't we don't necessarily like that. Um what if I was to, to shove you though? Can we? Let's see. We can. We hurl the target away. Dusk, your telekinesis is strong. Did we do damage to you? Eh, a little bit. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna play. So we're not gonna. That Zork though, let's send that hurtling back against the wall. I think we got it to bounce there. Let's try again. Good. Yeah, we're not doing enough to really hurt it though. So I think we probably, I was gonna say have to use the spike pit here. You know what? I think this might be the kind of time that we wanna try and use wave of force. Okay, it doesn't really push them all that far. Thankfully though, we are just a little bit faster than them. We're gonna have to use that to our advantage because our stamina right now is not good. That Brontosaurus Brute is getting way too close for my liking. Let's be away, let's be away. Okay, oh man, it probably can't follow us inside, right? It can't, it's too big. That's good, we can be glad. That's a lot of noise, it should draw things over towards it. That's what we want. And I suppose if we, if we lit it on fire, we could draw pretty much everything towards this building and have them just burn to death. I am kind of for that idea. We've got these nice wooden walls here. I don't think we can just set walls on fire. We can. I think probably because they're wooden walls. Okay, let's go start a fire here as well. Starting fires on additional squares or the squares that are kind of like next to them will help fire spread faster and that should start to spread pretty quickly. The noise will also draw the dead towards the, the fire. We're gonna go let it all burn down here as well. Okay, now let's just wait here for a little bit. We've got a decayed zombie that's coming on over. Or is it? Is the fire spreading right now? Let's turn on safe mode and let's just wait a while. Let's just say wait a minute. I don't think it's spreading far enough yet. We might have to try and get some more squares and that's a little difficult to do from this angle. But I suppose we could also kind of encourage that down here. Like if we get into here and then just start lighting these fires. Okay, I mean that's a line of fire. Surely that will start to help, right? Let's just back off down here for a moment. We're just gonna wait a while, say five minutes. Oh, yep, we're hearing. <laughs> Hearing a lot of noise. That's a good thing. That's a good sign. Yup, the fire is most certainly starting to spread. So we need to kind of hang around in this area now though, because um, if we leave, then the fire won't really do what we want it to do. And we want it to burn, burn long and do a lot of damage. Oh, that's, that's some serious noise. Uh, we do have some food in here. Let's just take the cereal and the toast out of there. That's like a single cereal, <laughs> not a lot of food. Oh, look at that. Look at that, being drawn in towards the flames. The roof will start to collapse down on top of them. They are gonna have a bad time. And you know, we may already be able to make our way back down towards the orc encampment here. Let's see, um, still, oh man, there's so much death going on up there. Loving that, really, really am. Uh, let's turn safe mode on, just so that we're cautious as we are making our way around here. Okay, Camposaurus zombie is trying to make its way into the home. Look at that fire. That's some good stuff. Um, okay, safe mode back on. Let's see what we got. Okay, human lard and waste bread. The waste bread really isn't going to be that useful at all. The human lard, yes, but we can probably do without it. Wow. Okay, okay. Um, probably not going to want to do anything about that, really. So we'll just leave them, um, <laughs> leave them to their little tussle that they're having there. Um, right, we didn't have anything else in this space, did we? No. Down here, three hidden items. We will take that and the salted meat slice. Treats for our brother, hey? Okay, looking at all of these corpses here, what do we have around here? 
that we may actually want to try and grab. Really, not all that much. There is another scrap helmet up here. Scrap boots, okay, we want them. And we've already got two sets of scrap leg guards, right? Yeah, okay. So grabbing another helmet. Let's grab the scrap boots. The fur wraps I don't think we're going to need. And we can't take another long sword right now. But we've pretty much been able to check nearly everything here. We're going to take all of the smoked sucker and these salted meat slices. Okay, spotted a Camptosaurus. Oh, but quite far away. That ain't a problem. Forget about it. And up here, smoked sucker, salted meat. Elliot, the things that we do for you, brother. Okay. Oh, boy. So... This one last room down here, that's the only thing that we haven't checked out. I don't think that there is actually anything in here though, by the looks of things. No, no, it does not look like it. But we have managed to clear out this camp well and truly. And I think we've, we've dealt with the dinosaur population here rather well if I don't mind saying so myself. Look, that one's trying to get into the home there. I think it managed. We're seeing a zombie around as well. Sure, there are the ones that are still down here, but that's how we do it. That's how we deal with these real big ones, is fire. Fire does work. And what are we seeing up there? Some corpses? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we sure are. What a sight beautiful. And yeah, there's a Zork up there with a long sword. We're not going to go and pull that out the fire. That's, that's, that's fine. That's totally fine. What a mess, huh? So, Orc Encampment. We can officially say that we have now sorted that. And I bet now is when you expect me to be finishing the episode, right? Because of the runtime and everything. Well, I made a promise and I'm going to stick to that promise. One way or the other, we are going to get to that cabin tonight. Elliot is going to have to be patient, just waiting in the subway station for now. We still have a lot of volume in our pack. Dusk, let's get a move on. Safe mode is enabled. We're going to be making our way across this field, kind of threading the needle here and then seeing what we've got going on down at that cabin. And wouldn't you believe it, Legionnaires, we are nearly there and it was a pretty chill journey for the most part we didn't really run into anything aggressive it's why traveling at night is just such a good idea now looking at the outside of this pretty moonflower a puffy flower with many lightly layered petals there's a dahlia spurge flower datura tulips okay all right so can we crack this open N not easily Let's have a look around and see what else we can find. Surprisingly, this place is not beaten up. It's looking pretty good as far as we can see. We've even got a greenhouse back here. It is empty from what we can make out. Actually, no. Ah, they're roses. Well, that's nice. Looking around the rest of the garden, it is very chill down here. The huckleberry bush and whatnot. Got a little stepladder that we can use to climb up should we need to. Well, all the doors that we've seen so far are locked. Let's climb over this fence here. It looks like we're probably going to need to break and enter here. We haven't heard too much activity, so let's get some of that telekinetic strength going. There we go. Okay, and let's get our breath back before we try and bash down this door. And you know what? I think we might actually do better just trying to shoulder check it. There we go. Oh, well, let's, yeah, I left the long sword for a moment there. Okay, we're going to go really nice and careful through this place. Gun digest, we've got a children's book. Scroll of purification seed. You summon a gift of the earth, which will purify water. Greater levels yield more numbers of seeds. Oh, so it's a purification seed that we can actually drop into things. Druid. It's a druid spell. I kind of feel like right now that that would fit Elliot a lot. Let's take it. That's a magic scroll. We got a freaking magic scroll. Let's take that for fun book. And what else do we have in here? We've got some food. You know we're going to be taking it. Oh, butter. Wonderful. <laughs> and hard cheese. What a find. Nothing else of use up there. Yeah, we really need a bit of pry tool. Well, we know that we can smash through this just fine. Leave our longsword on the ground for now. Okay. And we'll check out, see what we've got in here. Might as well check that bathroom too. Okay, nothing, just a towel. Let's close that curtain and let's bash our way into here. Whatever here is going to be. Oh man, there really isn't much to it, huh? We've gotten one thing from this so far. There is one more door that we can check out the back. I'm not seeing any other secrets though. And I don't think we can go and drag the fireplace. No, but we can drag the bookcase easily enough with 32 strength nothing hidden behind there so we're going to be getting back outside then we'll be taking our sword with and let's just hop through the window for now close that behind us i really hope that there's something else here 
Just a water heater, damn it. Well, that is rather unfortunate. I was really hoping for more. Oh, we put soy sauce in the heater. That was, I didn't mean to do that. Let's dispense it. Put it back in that glass bottle. There we go. Okay, well, cabin. We did get a spell out of all of this. So that is a success, but we're going to have to mark it as explored. And unfortunately, I think that's the, ah, oh, I was going to say the only one of its kind that we've found so far. Ah, oh, no, that's a grocery store. <laughs> the only other location potentially magical that we've found so far is over here, the magic meadow. And I really don't know what that means for us, but it's quite a distance away. While we're traveling through the night, we did discover a crater, be it again, I don't think there's too much to it. I am wanting to check out this little riverside dwelling here because I do think that that could potentially be a good base for us. We obviously also have over here the little bit of light industry and an evac shelter. All things that we may wish to try and get to in time. But one thing that is really playing on my mind is Elliot's arm and how we're going to deal with that. We are going to have to try and get to a hospital at some point. And the only hospital that we know of, I believe, is the one that's all the way up there. Let me just do a quick search here. Uh, no, there is another one somewhere else, it seems. Ah, all the way over here in Brewster. I mean, they're both a decent distance away from each other. Brewster seems like it might be a little less occupied, and it's not that difficult for us to get there on foot. If we were traveling at night, we could make it to the evac shelter. The cathedral here will provide really good sight over the entire town. We can make that work. And of course, there is a subway station that we could duck back into. There's a few of them in the town here. So we have options. And Dusk has in her possession a magical scroll. And yes, it is a basic spell. An entry level spell. But it can allow us to purify water. That could be very, very useful. And here, I am open to the argument as to whether or not we have Dusk or Elliot go down the path of Druidum. Either way, we've gotten another little edge over the world. But we're going to need way more than just an edge. As we've seen how dangerous this world can be, and Dusk herself, she's getting more dangerous. The armor that we managed to pick up tonight, we're going to look at getting that cleaned up and then fit it. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be much use for Elliot. He is already armored, but we do have another long sword for him. That's something. I think our next move is going to be trying to get to that hospital. We still have no permanent base yet, and we are so far away from all of the other supplies that we left behind. But are any of them crucial? Are they going to help us survive? No, not necessarily. Many things we can find elsewhere. And so, in the next, Dusk will return to Elliot, and perhaps even this night they will make their way across the land towards that hospital. But yes, that will be in the next. And for now, Legionnaires, I ask you, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.